there's so much going on in life, with work. The summer's almost over. There's tons of games to play, new updates, which is why today I'm jumping back into No Man's Sky. There's yet another update available. I think they've had like 30 plus updates. But this one, called Worlds, kind of a revamped uh, planet atmosphere. So storms and uh, planets, they have a more immersive feeling to it. And so as you can see, we have made first contact into this star system Shout out to the commentary who informed me it's not galaxies I'm jumping to, it's star systems, which as a Star Wars fan, duh, I should have known. Thank you. So here we are. There's a planet ahead. And as you can see, I have not discovered this. It's an unknown planet. I could press L3 and scan it and end this mystery right now, but I will not, because I want to try to find it for myself, and you with me. So, Chewie, punch it. So, the new trailer, you know, more immersive, it showed this planet with these floating platforms, uh, you know, natural platforms, not man-made. And every time they do an update like this, they show a cool spot on a planet. And I'm like, okay, like, let's see if we can find something cool. Now, who knows? Because there's a zillion upon zillion chances to actually get that planet. All right. Well, here we are. This is kind of nice. You can hear the rain. All right, so we got a rainy planet. We got a beautiful blue ocean down there. Some nice trees. This actually has kind of an earthly feel to it. And look at that, I just got stuck. <laughs> All right. What's going on here? What, am I just hovering? Weird. So here's the thing about this. Since this update, I have noticed a few little kinks in all of this. Uh, also today I'm playing with a HUD just because it makes navigation a little bit easier. I haven't played this as much as I normally would have. Look at that. I will say the water now is really cool. And if we change our view, I can see. It's maybe not as clear, but we have that uh, water effect right below us. It's not as predominant as I've seen it before, but nevertheless. So that's the thing. There's tons of these different planets, right? And it's kind of just fun to see. It's like a roll of the dice. What are we going to get? You know?
and you see what's going on right now. I've noticed this since this update. I don't want to be negative on it because I still love this game. There's like a little bit more jankiness. But let's let's touch down and see what this planet is called. Gonna change that view back. Seventy-four degrees. Well, that was really fast. How am I supposed to read it that fast? Okay, let me get back in my shit. And here's the thing, the, the names on these are hilarious sometimes. Yakusha Major. Yaksha Major. But sometimes it'll be like, Ethan Four or something. I do have to say, I like this. It's rainy, atmospheric. Okay, this is nice. And this is actually a nice way to show this. The storm is going right now. It's not as intense, but we can see the mist and the fog kind of with the wind that's definitely noticeable it's a new kind of pattern to it and it's nice i do love the uh oh here we go let's see what the storm looks like and while we're here let's learn a word We've learned the word for gek all this time. Wow. Now we know. Okay, so one last negative thing. Most of the time I play this with no HUD. And what I noticed is that I didn't get a warning when the storm was coming or when the storm was ending. Usually I get an audio cue. So hopefully that's just something that was like a mistake that they correct, they go back and fix. Because I like playing with no HUD, but still getting those cues of, hey, there's a storm coming. It's here, it's now. Ooh, got the lightning effects. And these guys are just chill in this superheated toxic storm. All right, well, since I already talked about things that I didn't like, why not? Here's the thing. It's like everything or nothing when it comes to the HUD. It's either all off or all on. Which is surprising because of how many things you can adjust with the new relaxation mode and stuff. Because for me, I wouldn't mind having the weather right there. Like, let me just pick that. I don't want to see that my ship symbol right there. I can clearly see that my ship is there. Or like this blue icon on the top of my screen. I don't need to see that. And definitely, it's like they took a page from Ubisoft with this mission pop-up. Like, hey, by the way, did you know? You got this mission you can do, this first traveler. Come on and go do it. Like, eh, don't bug me. Can't you see I'm exploring here? So, with their next game, Light No Fire, if you're unaware, they're doing that. Another 
a new fantasy game. It's all one planet. But I would love for more options with the HUD. Anyway, those are just your ASMR thoughts. Your ASMR friends' thoughts. Let's get back in our ship. Oh, it's not. It's still one of the best ASMR friendly games. Just the natural sound. I don't have the music, but you turn the music on and man, this game is just chill, and relaxing. And it's absolutely one of those games that there's no such thing as a quick session. It pulls you in and before you know it, poof, four hours gone by. That's okay. It's a sign of a good game. I wouldn't want to jump into a game and four minutes later be like, okay, I'm bored. I'm done. So it really goes to show just... Obviously, it's not for everyone. Nothing is for everyone. But the exploration for me and the immersion, the weather, the sound... Man, it's hard to beat. Okay, look, see, these waves are new, too. I, I, I don't know exactly. I'm not an expert. Go to Digital Foundry or somewhere. A more reliable source of what's new. Man, I can actually see into that water, what's down below. The waves, if they're not new to this update, they're newish. And man, it is a... It does, it just makes it feel like a more believable ocean. Oh, here we go. And let me go back to different view. Okay, see that? That's more apparent. That water effect I was talking about. Man, just the way the rain is hitting the window. Such speed. And with it being a procedurally generated environment. That's the thing, if you go too fast, well, it doesn't seem like a lot's going on, right? But you slow things down. And we start to see a little more complexity in the environment. Wow, look at this a little like crescent moon. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. So that's this planet. Oh, look at that, though. You can see the rings just beyond the horizon. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, that's beautiful right there. It 
It's working. It's working. Just like that, we're back into the sky. And I'm so sorry to this fleet. I am not going to talk to you right now. Okay, here we go. We got three planets. All right. Unknown, undiscovered. All right, so it will arrive in an hour and 22 minutes. Now, I've never actually done that. I'm kind of curious, though. What would that 80 minutes be like? But ain't nobody got time for that. Not today. Let's punch it. Now, if you're watching at home, please knock on wood for me that we get a cool alien planet. No disrespect to that other planet. But I'm hoping to see something a little more alien, right? Something we wouldn't see every day. Planet Wolfendol Bokan. Just imagine a spelling bee with planets from No Man's Sky. Whoever would win that should win all the money in the world. I don't even think their developers would pass. All right, well, you're a more friend. You wanted alien Looking a little desolate. Got some gas down there, but kind of some unique trees and plant life. Oh. I thought this was no man's sky. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. See, and that's what I love. Timing. The timing of arriving onto this planet just in time for the sun to rise. Life is all about the little timing, isn't it? Okay, 6.4 radiation. Okay. That's cool. Almost look like eyes. <laughs> what? Oh my god. You have loud footsteps for a little guy. <laughs> I literally heard those behind without. Wait a minute. <laughs> for for a game called No Man's Sky, I've certainly seen Some more people here. Huh. There we go. Now, wouldn't that be crazy if that was a real person? Then I would I would 
turn this game off and immediately go buy a Powerball ticket because the odds on that would be insane. So I caught this. This isn't part of what I thought I was going to do in this video. But when you see an opportunity, you got to take it. It's on the other side. The memories of a long deceased tribe of Vakin warriors. Vakin? I've never actually said this out loud. Vakin. It's the Vakin warriors, right? YouTube, please do not demonetize me. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm not monetized? Perfect. So the Vakin warrior flows from the stone marker forming into a ghostly essence that fills me with wisdom. The book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vakin shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. Let's seek knowledge of the past. Historical data revealed. I do love those random people. Okay, so... It'll only take us about half an hour to walk there. Seeing like that, even with my HUD on, I don't, I get it. That's my starship. I don't need an icon. Your ASMR friend, you're being too negative. I'm sorry. Welcome to your ASMR ship. Okay, see, now that we got the, the sun's a little bit higher, we can see. I was thinking this was like a deserty planet, even when we were on the surface. It's a little more green, a little more earthly in that way. And also those trees aren't as luminescent, obviously, in the daytime. All right, well, just going to check it out. I, we won't fully explore this. I don't, TBD. We'll just see. Some interesting rock formations. Flying too fast. Beautiful. Volatile winds. I didn't read that before. Basically, if I, if I dig for this, I can find stuff, but we don't need to do that. Okay. Well, wow, it really is nice. I mean, I like it. And that's the thing, I'm not disappointed in this planet. This planet's beautiful on its own. 
And that's part of the experience, the excitement, the joy of this game is the discovery. Been there. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's. I forgot how many planets this system said it had, but we're on track. Another unknown planet undiscovered. You and I are making history. So even if we don't find this planet with floating rocks, we're discovering something new. This is, uh, this must be planet 420, right, with all the smoke in the air. It's interesting seeing this during the day. Let me, okay. To try barrel roll, that's a good trick. Let's. I, I can't even tell, I have no idea. I'm trying to see if we can get a little more of a nighttime view on this. And for all I know, I just came back to the spot I was at. So here's the thing. I also wish all this technology, all these things popping up on my screen, how is there not a clock? Right? There's no way to tell the time. But there's a trick. If you go to photo mode, adjust effects, we can see the, we can see the sign of day. We can see the time of day. 1749. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go to sleep. <laughs> and actually, let's switch to. Yes. And there. So beautiful. While there are definitely beautiful planets in the daytime, there is just something about nighttime. With all the illuminating effects, the stars in the sky, just absolutely. switch back. Alright. We're not 
going to stay long, but I just want to do just a quick look around, see what this place looks like. Low atmosphere detected. ADO 5076 or whatever that said. This glass. I just hear footsteps. It's a little creepy. Sky beam. Man. How would you like that as a pet? No, that's bizarre. I'll get that. I wouldn't want to live here, but I'm glad that we got to see it. Oh, see, I also love, sometimes you don't get the best, like that's not exactly the best view of it. But when you see another planet on the surface like that. I mean, that looks, that is so cool. I, imagine if we could see that on Earth, our home planet. I mean, by now we'd be used to it, right? But, wow, that would be. there and I don't think we've been there okay turn off the HUD again because this is my preferred way when I do play I just feel like that's more immersive and less screen pollution, right? Let's call it that. Look at that, we got two planets on the other side. So I, I love how the planets line up sometimes like that too. Oof. Well, I hope you brought your jacket. love this sound entering the atmosphere oh interesting I mean don't get me wrong this is cool but it's almost a little too close to home. <laughs> All this snow, even in the summertime. I do love the way the night sky hits the snow. We got these stars in the back. Just for, just for a quick second. Low atmosphere on this one too. I mean, see, with 
nothing on the screen, no temperature, no mission. You got this mission you can do. Oh, there's another mission you can do. Look at this. This must be new too. That sky is moving. Or probably more accurate, this planet is moving. But nevertheless, we have the motion in the background. I don't think we had that before. This might be something new in this update. That's cool. I like that. Also, I love what's going on right now. We still have the darkness, the sky. There's a huge shadow on that mountain in the back, but then we have light on this side. Where's that light coming from? Well, unclear, but that's cool. Oh, I like this. See, even this where it's not a an exhilarating, thrilling planet surface. But yeah, this, the way the light's hitting on all these things, the shadows in the far back, the light on the snow, if you don't live where it snows in the wintertime, when the night hits, but the moonlight hits the snow, it almost, it almost becomes like a natural light. So I, I love this effect that's going on. Alright. Back to our ship. This is... <laughs> Rom Sigma. See, it's a cool planet. Gen Z is going to love it. And we are back in No Man's Sky. Okay. Can barely see those lights. Discover that one. Discover that one. What? Again, for a game called No Man's Sky. I've seen so many ships already. <laughs> Let's get out of this asteroid field. Okay, here we go. Have we not? Ooh, the unknown moon of Bram. Rom Sigma. For those of you watching at home, please cross both of your fingers. I just, I want my floating platform planet like they promised in the trailer. Okay. Wow. I. Okay, I just wanted to see what they would do with that. They really just have you crash into the planet. Sorry, moon. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm getting a Wild West vibe. Got the smoke coming from the surface. It's a hot moon. Whoa, okay, let's touch down. That's insane. 162 degrees. Like, that planet is huge. 
I mean, it makes sense. The moon is close to the planet. I don't think I've ever seen it like that before. That's awesome. See, even now, with like, however, 100 hours I've been playing in this game, years that I've been playing this game, still seeing these awe-inspiring And again, everything is just better. No HUD, in my opinion. Look at that. Yeah, it's hot out here. There's something moving behind me. Ah. So, look at this, this heat planet, they almost look like flames, there's trees, plants, whatever it is, and then, okay, hold on, look at that, the sun coming around there. So good. Now again, I wouldn't want to live here. But I'm happy to visit. Yeah, look at that. I mean, they look like little flames. Well, since no one else has discovered them. We pretend that airplanes in the night sky, shooting star. I could really use a wish right now. Well, that's that planet. That's, sorry, moon. So sorry. A deep space object. Oh. See, look at that. that. This game is endless of things to discover. Pretty cool. But we are not going to check that out today. It's not what this video is about. Now, I'm pretty sure that we saw another planet on the other side of that, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, right. Let's get that HUD back on. See, I, I just wish that there could be like a button so that I could see this information. Of, if, is this the planet that I've gone to before or not? Discovered that, discovered that. Let's. See, I don't even know. It looks blue now. But maybe when we get closer, it's going to be like brown. See, it's starting to turn a little purple and brown. Very interesting. Not a lot going on. But... Some of these sand formations 
I don't think I've seen him before. Oh. Not even gonna try. And that name went way too fast. Holy. Hey, what's up, guy? How you doing? Uh huh. Now, this might just be like a typical day in Australia, but for us in the States, that thing is creepy. And yet, we should feed him. Right? Let's offer you some food. I cannot adopt. That's fine. I can ride you. <laughs> okay. Let's change the view on that. All right, look at that. We got a free ride. Yeehaw, look at these. Look at these, like, cactus, but for legal reasons, they're not cacti. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. This is insane right now. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I mean, hey, we didn't get floating platforms, but we got weird, creepy tentacles and a giant snake. Look at this, we can see three planets, maybe technically four if you're counting the surface of this planet. Okay, I don't wanna go down there. Okay, we'll just go right through, right through the cactus. That's fine. Okay. That's cool. Okay, shut the front door of the space vehicle. Even though I was saying, oh, hey, it's supposed to be No Man's Sky. I love seeing other spaceships. Just seeing one in the distance like that. Very small. If you're watching it on your iPhone or your Android or your competing smartphone device, you probably didn't see it. But it's there, I assure you. How cool is that? Also, this... The... The surface sounds, the wind, whatever sounds are going on, man, it's incredible. Also, and I know this is a moon, but imagine this is your, your view, your sky view. Like, entirely this planet, bronze, sigma, whatever it was, the new intercontinental champion, bronze, sigma, hey, let's, uh, let's drop some knowledge, all right, we have a new word for half, as in, have you subscribed yet, because you should, if you want to see more fun videos from your ASMR effect. It won't always be No Man's Sky. It might be Cyberpunk 2077. It might be Helldivers 2 for some reason. It might be Sea of Thieves. But it will always be me. Hey, okay, hold on. 
I wanted a, a floating platform, right? Remember, that was, well, there we go. It, it might be a technicality, but by golly, we found a planet with a floating rock. And here's the thing, right? Uh, on first glance, this planet didn't look like too much was going on on the surface. Maybe just like people in that way. It might not look like there's a lot going on on the surface. Although my point's about to be mute, because as soon as we get on the surface, we see that there's more going on. There's a whole dynamic here. Look at this. I love this planet right now. And I'm not like a big desert guy, but this is cool. Even though deserts are the opposite of cool. Just on a you know, technical side. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. This is like the signs from the YouTube gods that we found our floating platform planet. By a technicality, I do not care. And who would have thought that actually, good Lord, hey, how's it going? Hey, okay. Uh, you're just passing by? I hope you're just passing by. My name's Ray, so my friend, by the way. Catch me on YouTube. Okay. He won't. Now, will I actually be able to reach that? Don't say it. You know, for a game called No Man's Sky. Oh, look, this planet is lit. You see that? Just in case. I know not everyone watches on the biggest screen. It's literally lit on this planet. And somehow that little guy is doing just fine. You know what? I owe this planet an apology. I thought that was a technicality, that one. But we can clearly see this planet has floating terrain. All right, then. We did it. By golly, we did it. We found a planet with floating rocks. A floating platform. I'm not quite sure what the technical terminology should be. But there it is. And remember, be kind to yourself and be well to others.